MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Kansas City Royals and the Cleveland Indians. So striding in, Adalberto Mondesi, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Fastball is looked at for strike two. A very fine afternoon for baseball, 67 degrees here at first pitch. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Waiting his turn on deck is Alex Gordon. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard, he's digging for second. And the Royals are going to get a man into scoring position right away on the leadoff double. Got accepted. The left fielder, number four, Alex. Gordon. So now to the plate, Alex Gordon. All even now, two and two. Mondesi leads off second with nobody out. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Tried to backdoor him and lock him up with a curveball right there. Pretty good pitch, but he didn't quite get it to come back all the way to the corner. That's tough to do for most guys. The second base. Whit Merrifield next to hit. Comes into this one with just one hit in nine tries for the series. A swing, and he pops him up on the infield, and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. In is Jorge Soler, hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. Soler. Two and two to Jorge Soler. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. Runners are at first and second with one away. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. So it's first and second with two men gone, and that'll bring up Hunter Dozier. The set and the one two. And a check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three, and the inning is over. Digging in, Jose Ramirez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 2 1. It is swung on and missed for strike number two. So a full count now. Cesar Hernandez will be next. Lifted the other way out to left center. Gordon is there, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Coming to the plate now, Cesar Hernandez. Two hits and eight tries for the series. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Pops this one up. Dozier is under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. He had a homer in the ballgame yesterday afternoon. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Gordon is there. And that retires the side. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. Para hits in five trips to the plate in yesterday's game. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. So next to the plate for the Royals, Ryan O'Hearn. He's driven in four runs on four hits to this point in the series. Two and one to the Royals' first baseman. 
No score here as we play inning number two. Three and one. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup? Or do you stay with the heater? The designated hitter, Michael Bronco. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Santana is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now to the plate, Brett Phillips, and he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Now the three and two pitch. He pulls this one into right, and that's in there. Base hit. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, it'll wind up first and second here at the plate. Adalberto Mondesi, and it's fouled away. Ready with the one two. And that misses two and two. Two down, runners at first and second. Popped him up. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Last half of the second set to go, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Fran Moreyes. Ready to deliver the one and two. I'm trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. A ball and two strikes. Bottom of the second here with no score. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Gordon on the move, but he can't get there. It's over his head. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. To the plate now, Carlos Santana. Fastball called strike, one and two. Ball two. The two two. Doesn't get the zone, count full now. Domingo Santana will be next. And he fouls this one off. The next 3 2. A bullet to first base. And they got there so quickly, the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settled with just the one out. Stepping in, Domingo Santana. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Fouled off. From the stretch, the one two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll bring up the veteran left handed hitting outfielder, Alex Gordon. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. Digging in now for Kansas City, Whit Merrifield. He flew out in his last at bat. Three and one, here it is. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first.
Now a ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Bullet back up the middle. Naquin has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Royals. Jorge Soler. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Up next to the Royals, the third baseman, Hunter. Standing in now, Hunter Dozier. And look out as that fastball ran in and got him. Outspring. Into the box now, Salvador Perez. Salvador. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Now the 2 1 pitch. Taken strike two. Fastball just inside. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches and belted high and deep into right center. Center fielder going back. Gone! It's a grand slam. Hey, how about that? That's a way to unclog the bags. One swing and a grand slam bomb, and it gives him the lead. Into the box now, Ryan O'Hearn. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. The batter, number seven. For the plate now is the designated hitter, Michael, Michael Franco. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. One and two. One ball, two strikes, count. Here it comes. I got to count two and two. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Leading off the inning, Oscar Mercado, and they'll need him to get something going here. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Batting Into the box now, Roberto Perez. He's two for seven in the series so far. Fouled away. Here now the 2 2. Is swung on and missed strike three. In now for Cleveland, oh, Jose Ramirez. Three. It was a the fly three out three. for him to start the home oh, first. The oh, one and two pitch. There. And right into the shift. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0 2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. All set for the start of the fourth. And that brings up outfielder Brett Phillips. The 1 1. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. And it's a two and two count to Brett Phillips. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's working full now at three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Oh, here's a shot out to right center. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. At the plate now, Adalberto Mondesi. And it's fouled away. The 1 2 is a low changeup that's laid off. Wow, really 
close pitch on 0 and 2. That just missed, and if he hits that spot right there again, he might get the call next time. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. And that's low ball four. Adam Pletko answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Alex Gordon will be his first test out of the bullpen, and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. He pulls into second safely as two runs come across to score away from the play. The batter number 50, second base with Merrifield. Stepping in now with Merrifield. On the ground for Hernandez at second base. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Digging in and looking for more. Jorge Soler. He singled his last time up. Jorge Soler. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Six runs, six hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going. Big. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. In time to first, and there are two away. And that brings in Hunter Dozier. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Hunter Dozier. The 1 1 is taken oh, below the zone for a ball. Two and two to Hunter Dozier. Men on third with two down. Pulls this one in the air out to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and that ends the inning. ready to go for the last half of the inning and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman Cesar Hernandez the one two grounded up the first baseline he's got it and he'll step on first for the out three unassisted striding in for the Indians Francisco Lindor he's 0 for 1 thus far Down low, two balls and a strike. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have oh, to be out. sitting on one right here. Three and one to him now. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. Now a changeup just off the plate as that misses for ball four. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first. And digging in now, Fran Reyes. Hit sharply on the ground. Step on the back for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Salvador Perez. The one and two pitch. Two balls, two strikes. And he fouls this one off. Hit the other way out toward right field. Right fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the Number inning. 66. At the plate, Ryan O'Hearn. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. Fouled off. Six runs, six hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. 
the bat. So here's the Royals DH. Michael Franco, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And there's a line drive, base hit to left field. The better fielder. Brett. Into the box, Brett Phillips. And able to lay off the fastball the way here. Two and one now. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Hit out of play, and it's a full count now. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Smoke the other way, high and deep to left. And he will crash into the wall, but hold on to it there for the final out of the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and into bat next, it'll be Tyler Naquin. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. This will kick up against the wall now. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Now batter. The first base man. Carlos. To the plate now. Carlos Santana. That's lifted the other way out to left. Gordon is there, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Standing in, Domingo Santana looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch out. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no doubt home run. That wasn't a particularly good pitch right here. This guy doesn't get away with very many mistakes. He's going to have to do a better job pitching out of the middle part of the plate. In now, Oscar Mercado. Two balls and a strike. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Barehanded at his knees. Got him. Digging in, Roberto Perez. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. That gets down and the inning will continue. The throw into second. Now that the third baseman. Okay. Standing in now, Jose Ramirez. And it's fouled away. Now the three and two pitch. Hit out towards second. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. Now a long throw home. The tag from Perez. He's out at the plate. So now to the plate, Adalberto Mondesi. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Here's the left fielder, Alex Gordon, who drove in two runs on a double in his last at bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Skied in the air to straightaway left. 
And this is hauled in just shy of the track out there for out number two. Riding in once again, Whit Merrifield. Two out, nobody on. This one is launched. Look at this. And it's gone as they add still another. At the plate now, Jorge Soler hops this one up. Lindor will put this one away, and the side is retired. Jake Kalish enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 74, Jake. Digging in to try it again, Cesar Hernandez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Now the one and one pitch. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. That misses and we're even at two and two. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Up next for Cleveland. And that'll bring in the That's switch hitting Francisco Lindor. Go for one for him here in this one. A one one. High in the air out to center field. Phillips is there for it. Two down. So next it'll be the no four hole hitter for the tribe. Fran Moraes. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation Maddie. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. Swing and a liner. Ball and two strikes. Here it is. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Seventh inning ready to roll. And that'll bring up Hunter Dozier. And he lays off for a ball. Two and one. Hit back up the middle. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. One man gone now for KC in the seventh. And up next, the former World Series hero, Salvador Perez. Rip down the first base line, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Lays off two and two now. Line, that's a base hit. Now batter. At the plate, Ryan O'Hearn. A ball and two strikes now. Oh, this ball is hammered out to deep center field. Oh, give me a break. That landed in Heritage Park. Not every home run is exactly the same. That ball was absolutely destroyed. Dominic Leone comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Into the box, Michael Franco. Hard hit ball to second. Throw gets him, two down. Brett Phillips will bat next. So far, two for three in this one. The three and one pitch. 
And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. So the Royals batting order turns over and set to go. Adalberto Mondesi. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. A two and one count to the leadoff hitter for Kansas City. Set and the two and one pitch. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got the count in his favor three and one. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Gordon. The one one. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Liner toward right center. And he won't get it as that's down for a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. The batter number 50, second baseman. Stepping in now, Whit Merrifield. Merrifield. This is hit softly to third. But an easy play over at third, and that'll be that. Riding into the box, Tyler Naquin. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. And he's got to build off that last A-B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. Grounded back up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Into the box now, Carlos Santana. A ball and two strikes now. The one and two pitch. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. What do you say now, Indian? Hit to third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And that's out number one. One out now for the Indians in their seventh. And that'll bring Domingo Santana into the batter's box next. Misses. Ball two. Fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. At the plate, Oscar Mercado. He was That's retired via the ground ball oh, last God. time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. So striding forward now, Jorge Soler. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. High in the air out towards shallow right. Hernandez onto the grass. He can't get to it. This one's down. The third baseman. So now to the plate, Hunter Dozier can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two from the stretch pitch taken several inches below the zone in fact with this one almost in books the story was clearly the long ball what are your thoughts on this offense fellas well Matty V I don't know what your thoughts are D world but boy when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches yeah just great approach no one really chased today really stayed staunch on uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate and they did damage with it. 
Now the 2 1. I got 3 1. And when you're already down by a bunch, this is where a guy's got to take some responsibility out there and at least start throwing some strikes. Looked like a cut fastball there, and all he can do with it is foul it off to the right. 3 2 pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and next will be the power hitting catcher, Roberto Perez. Now the payoff pitch home. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Jose Ramirez. It was a single for him in his last at bat. I mean, what a diamond in the rough Jose Ramirez has been for Terry Francona and the Cleveland Indians. This guy burst on the scene in 2016. Just absolutely set that lineup on fire. They were looking for a guy to bail out Michael Brantley and the production they would miss from him in the lineup. And Jose Ramirez filled that admirably. Two and two. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Here comes the payoff pitch down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And foul. Another payoff pitch. Down the third baseline. And this is going to be a foul ball. The next 3-2. Mine to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batting. Standing in now, Francisco Lindor. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb. Hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches. And this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. Kevin McCarthy answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. Number 51, Kevin McCarthy. To the plate now, Fran Reyes. Whoa, Up high, there. two and one now. Three runs already home here. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. Throw to first will take care of him. Score it two to three on the put out, and there are two gone now. Settling in now, Tyler Naquin in his career versus this pitcher. He's two for three. Sent on the ground out to second. Merrifield scoops it up. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Brad Hand enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set for the start of the inning, and here comes the first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. Hey, and in that last at bat, he took this one to straightaway center field, the deepest part of the ballpark, so this guy can hit a breaking ball a long way. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now at the plate, Michael Franco. He was a ground out victim last time up. Franco. The 
one one is strike two swinging. And he'll try to get him fishing there but he won't offer in the dirt and it's back to even at two and two. Man that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one. A good take there on that pitch. This is line to left. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Now back, the center fielder, Brett Phillips. In now, Brett Phillips. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Hand, 30 years of age. He's currently on a one year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he... And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Ian Kennedy, Kennedy a right-hander standing now, six foot even, will take over the pitching duties here. So now Carlos Santana. swing and this ball is crushed straight away center field gone man you could tell by the sound of that one off the bat that was going a long way Plate, Domingo Santana. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Now that is. Into the box, Oscar Mercado. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. One out, nobody on. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now at the plate, Roberto Perez. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. 1-1. And he fouls this one off. Last strike now for Cleveland. To two balls and two strikes now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, listen, there's no doubt they were pressing during that seven-game losing streak, but that's behind them now. Now they can play a little bit freer, which is the way this game is supposed to be played anyways. Ten to six, the final score in this game. The Kansas City Royals put a ten spot on the scoreboard in this one. Heath Fillmeyer earns his fifth winner of the year. Zach Plezak permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Kansas City Royals, 10 runs, 13 hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. For Cleveland, six runs, 10 hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, four hours and nine minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.